I'm going to create my first biomorphic form with ink. So if you've got an ink cartridge at home, um, you can use that, a little bit of that, or if you've got a bottle of ink, you could also use that. So starting with a leaf pattern or leaf shape, what you could do is put some ink onto the leaf pattern. There, and I'm going to press the leaf pattern onto the paper to make sort of random mark. So press that onto the paper. Oh, I can even dip it into the ink and press it onto the paper. There, makes a nice starting point for the biomorphic form. Now I can draw with my brush some flowing, curving shapes. I could also put some extra water onto the paper and using a straw, blow a shape with a straw. If I want to suck up some extra ink, I don't want so much ink on the paper, I could just scrunch up a little bit of tissue and soak up the tissue with the bit, soak up the ink with the tissue like that so you can soak up the extra tissue. Also using my cocktail stick or kebab skewer, I can draw, also draw some flowing shapes to add to my biomorphic form. This is really good for detail, so using my kebab stick or you can use cocktail sticks, anything sharp and pointy. Let's try using a pencil, if I dip that in, a sharp pencil. I know it draw, you can draw with it, but I'm going to dip my pencil into the ink. Okay, that's creates, you can do that with a pencil, but it creates much thicker, um, much thicker shapes. Now if I use my water within that, tiny bit of ink it runs and creates these lovely whoops bit too much water let's soak some of that up scrunch the tissue up here we go oh yes let's soak some of that water up <clears throat> so you could just use water and that will pick up the ink as you are pushing it across the page. Lovely. I'm going to try this with coffee for those people who don't have ink at home tiny bit of water into the coffee, mix it around, so I'll get a brown colour from the coffee, oops there's a lump of coffee, don't want that. <clears throat> I'm going to try blowing that with my straw. <clears throat> I can also 
use a cocktail stick to draw with it. Oops, there's a lump of coffee there. Hang on. So coffee works a little bit. Let's try um, paprika. Tiny bit of water. not quite as good I'm not sure that it's dissolving I also have turmeric I'm going to try that those of you who haven't got ink at home I wouldn't use anything with a lot of oil or sugar yes turmeric uh, works quite nicely as a color but it's not really dissolving very well in the uh, in the liquid. Dip the pencil in the coffee. Oh, that's nice. So you could dip the pencil and draw with that into the coffee to get an interesting biomorphic form. Maybe use that in conjunction with a turmeric or paprika that could work quite well with this now you can let this dry and when you do come back into school uh, we can add some uh, ink to it and you can also um, draw into it with a fine liner pen so I'm going to leave that if you've got food coloring at home so I'm going to try some food colouring instead of ink, just to see what that looks like. So this is a red food colouring, so let's try a little bit of that. And, um, and what's this? Green, green food colouring, which I haven't used yet. Oops, it's quite thick that. So I'm going to try the green food colouring first. Hmm, that's nice. So you could paint and draw with the food colouring. This food colouring seems to be quite thick. I'm just going to water it down a bit. It's nothing to stop you from using a bit of tissue also. To pick up some of the colour. I'm going to try a bit of red food colouring with the green. And see if I can blow that with the tissue, I mean with the straw. Looks like I've killed a frog. Okay, what if I draw back into that with some coffee? And a pencil. That's quite nice. So we're sort of getting this flowing rhythm of a biomorphic form and experimenting with materials at home if you haven't got any ink. If you have watercolors, of course you can use watercolours um, quite effectively with this. So even though these seem quite rough, I can let them dry and then draw back into them when they're dry with pencil and also with fine liner pen. So if you haven't got ink, food colouring, coffee or um, turmeric, 
works fairly effectively. Yeah. So I'm going to let these dry now and work back into them when they're dry. I'm just going to turn the paper around and try some more gradients with the ink. So I'm going to put some water. My water's been tinted with a bit of turmeric actually. Some water on my paper. Then using the sharp stick, which is the um, kebab skewer or cocktail stick, you can then draw into it and it flows into the ink in quite an interesting way once it's still wet. I've got some blue ink here, I might use that as well. So look how it's flowing into the ink in this area here. So I'm drawing with my stick. into this and put a bit more water on the paper make it flowing like a biomorphic form so that's quite a lot of water and then with a tiny maybe I use the pencil this time just adding a tiny bit of ink you can see it's if I leave it now it should run and flow into the into the water you just need to be patient so you just leave it and watch it watch to see the patterns what happens with the patterns I'm going to draw some detail into this while we're watching Try not to move this water around on the paper too much because you'll lose some of the patterns that you that will develop on their own. So I'm just going to leave that now. <clears throat> 